Hi, I'm Mary and I'm speaking for Life, the basic manual. Um, I love parties, I run parties for a living. Myself and my husband Richard are directors of Whirly Gig, which is a long running, great party event. And uh, I've been in recovery 16 years. Um, which some people feel is inconsistent with what I'm doing, but I don't see that at all. Um, I'm just going to run through how I party clean and sober. And I've got four points to make. Um, the third, first one is avoiding tales of war and realising where you, where your, how your journey is going. The second one is planning ahead. And the third one is enjoying the ride. And the fourth one is enjoying your success. So the first one, tales of war. Oh, in a meeting one time, I remember someone saying to me, Oh, I've been sober and clean for six months and it's been the worst six months of my life. And I thought, I really don't want to hear this when I'm trying not to do these things. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go my own way. I'm not going to listen to this because for me, I, you know, I really want to do this, you know. So I'm going to stick, I'm going to think positive. So, um, but I have to, you know, to be honest, the first six months and a little bit longer, I was like, it's, I, you know, it's feeling really flatlining, you know. I remember sitting on a balcony at sunset and thinking, yeah, but if I just had something nice to smoke and a glass of wine, it'd be perfect. And I went like that for a fair while. And then I realised, you know, it's in my mind I'm, I'm not accepting, you know. There's a beautiful situation. I've got to start digging it more. Sort of getting into the situation. And uh, then uh, I had a turning point when I went back to Ireland. And they are the Irish, they know how to party. Um, and, but I thought it was all associated with the drinking, and it's really not. And I went back, clean and sober, with a friend. We ended up in the pub one night, laughing till our sides were splitting. And without any, any mind-altering assistance. And I realised we're just there amongst the mad fairies, having a great party time. And that, for me, was a big turning point. I thought, I can do this. So when I have a party now and friends come round, um, I would say plan ahead. And, um, you know, one thing I do sometimes use is sometimes if I feel like everybody else has got something and I haven't, because still a little bit of that goes on sometimes. I think, you know what, I'm going to stock up on the magnums in the fridge. And, you know, occasionally I might even have an alcohol free, you know, just for that first little surge where everybody's knocking it back. But... If I do do that, I rarely need more than one or two, and it's just a placebo effect. Um, but more often than not, I don't need that anymore. And it, that even just needing that wears off. But if you have to do that, you know, you have to do it, as long as you don't put the alcohol down your neck or start ingesting other things. So, and the other thing is sort of planning ahead, being really careful not to, of your attitude to your fellow party goers. You know, they don't want somebody who says, oh, I've been in recovery, you know. So what a damper on a party, you know. So, you know, I mean, I usually say, you know, no, uh, plan what you're going to say if somebody doesn't know you and they're trying to get you to drink or take a drug. And I say, you know what, I'm such a party animal. I, You know, I'm so wild. If I take that, I'm just going to explode, you know. I'll go green, you know. And they just start laughing, you know, and it's non-threatening to them, you know. And I feel good, you know, and uh, they still feel good. And we're ready to party, you know. And uh, the ability to say no and be able to say it in a positive way without making other people feel uncomfortable. Um, so that's planning ahead. And um, enjoying the ride. Well, it's really great because, you know, you start seeing people knocking it back and getting going and stuff. That's when, if you want to go and go for the magnums, go for the magnums then, or go for your alcohol-free, you know, whatever. Um, and you're feeling the camaraderie, you know, and you're feeling, this is this is good, we're all here together, it's exciting. Then you start to see that they're, they're, they're kind of peaking, and um, you're feeling, you're just feeling the camaraderie at that point while they're getting, they're really getting kind of a bit out of it. And you're thinking, yeah, it's fine, you know, because I'm feeling good because I'm with these really great people. Um, 
it gets a bit you have to get used to that early bit though it takes a bit getting used to that without feeling sorry for yourself you know but then there's you get a second peak while they're starting to go oh oh god you know and they're all on the sofa going oh oh you know and you're taking all their strengths just to roll up or something you know and you're really in the zone then you know and you go in come on people party party and they're all kind of laughing where do you get your energy from you know and what i love is that you can go totally wild you know but you still know that you're safe and you're not going to do something really stupid you know dangerous you know which i've done you know so many times because you set up a situation which is safe you planned ahead i could have mentioned that as well you're in a safe situation but in within that safe situation you can be wild so it's what warriors call controlled abandon so you set up these controls and because they're there you can now let go you know and i love that about partying clean and sober you can be as wild as you want to be and nobody's going to say hey love you haven't had, have, you, have you had one too many love or whatever you know you can they you know you're not embarrassing yourself you know you can get on the table do a little dance you're not going to fall off if you're careful you know and you uh, and that's really so you're enjoying the ride now you know and um uh um, then your energy is being sustained while everybody's energy is starting to go down. And that's, you know, you're feeling for them now and you're kind of thinking, you know what, I quite like, I quite like this party. Um, and this having energy while like, other people haven't got energy and you've still got energy and you start to be really grateful for it. Then the morning after, you're up, at, up with the lark, enjoying the day. That's something new that I never used to get before. It's all gifts, gifts, gifts. Um, so that's enjoying the ride then finally enjoying your success you know um, I feel now after you know um, well, I felt it certainly after the first year and probably well before in many ways in many ways it's not a sacrifice I haven't given something up I've exchanged something for something else and you know that's something else that I've exchanged it for I would not Sacri I would not give it back, not for all the tea in China, not for all the mind-altering drugs or alcohol in the whole, on the whole planet, you know, because I am happy, I'm joyous and I'm free and I'm ready to party. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you.